unboxing Soviet radios. Let's get this open and see what we got here. Notice everything that I order from that part of the world is always packed so nicely. You know, I guess that's what happens when they become you and you become them kind of thing. Could try and figure this out. Where are these uh, Sudoku puzzles and Skrillic? So, basically everything is kind of double boxed in here. It's very cool. Try and find a, an American seller that packs like this is pretty rare. Okay, here's the first one. Some of these were not working, so I felt sorry for them, but we can bring them back here. Okay, here's the second one. This is a Sokol, and this is one of the original ones, which probably means it needs to be recapped, but these are great radios. Oh, these are sensitive beyond belief. Here's the next one. What's This one's new in the box, it looks like. See what this is a postcard sometimes they like to send gifts uh, little cultural things when you buy these radios from Ukraine or uh, uh, Russia Federation exactly it's a postcard geez if that was built here they'd tear it down and put up some plywood and uh, OSB and drywall boxes for people to live in. We, we don't keep anything like that around in this country. We tear that old crap down. We want energy efficient buildings. Well, this has a very militant look. This is uh, another so called, this is pretty modern, it looks like. Made in USSR. And here we have a thing and the schematic with the alignment instructions. Look at that. There's still PNP transistors. Jeez. These radios are super sensitive. These things work really, really good. Okay, next, another new in the box, Soviet flavored radio. Okay, here we go. I'm trying to do some of this stuff one hand. Bummer, no schematic in here. Wonder if there are specifications. Oh, there's the schematic. Wow, look at that. That is kind of sexy. Wow. So they're all about the same circuit. Um, converter or Autodyne, uh, IF1, IF2. I don't know what that is. That might be some kind of active feedback. I don't know what that is. AGC. Uh, we got, uh, there's the volume control, AF1. Uh, what are they using? An, it's not an emitter follower. 
anyway, I bet this is a good working radio. Look at that. Just comes with it. Okay, the Leekomatic batteries are loaded. CB is AM, or not, it's not CB, whatever. But it is quiet. Wow. Maybe one of these batteries is dead. This looks new old stock. I don't think this has ever been used. Well, interesting that this is totally quiet. We'll have to revisit these uh, when I get some time. Okay, SoCol 404. Nice. I hear a pop there. It's just quiet. Okay, it's working. It's just very quiet. I'm going to tune. So you can hear there, it's working, it's just very quiet, so it's probably an open capacitor. Wow, 1984, and it's still using germanium mineral transistors. Look at the date there. This is a transistor right here. Right here. 84. See this one? GT309. GT3 something. I'm gonna I'm gonna assume it's the assume it's the capacitor that couples the audio to the speaker. Let's see, let's see the schematic. See, I'm going to assume it's this capacitor right here, 100 microfarad, couples this audio to the speaker. That's a different, different uh, circuit for the speaker, that transformer there. The, I wonder what the point of that is. That makes no sense to me, but who am I to question anything? Why not just drive the speaker directly? So, C32. Uh, it looks like C32 might have been changed. That would have been this blue one. Let's see, what is this one right here? C30. What is, where is C30 here? Okay, C30 is a filter. It would not have been that. About C31. Possibly this one, C26 or C25. Hey, blame Ronald Reagan, right? Okay, so it's not that one. Okay, this is C26 right here. Okay, 
It does get a microscopic mini lead a bit louder. Okay, here's C25. This is the one that couples the volume control. From the 105, Paramount 105 West connector to the 710 South. From Wineville Road to Euclid, two lanes blocked until tomorrow. Okay, that one's bad. That is C25 right here. That is the one that couples into the first audio. And then this one was weak. And it'll prob probably all of these are weak. Okay, here's another one. This is the emitter bypass. So they're all bad. All the capacitors in this are open. They're all dried out except that blue one. Okay, this needs a full recap and the camera battery is dead and I'm going to come back.